This building is big. I'm in Louisiana. I'm at the Michou Rocket Factory where they build rockets for NASA. This building behind me is part of a 43 acre building that is all under one roof. It is huge, it is massive. There's a lot of stuff going on inside. You, they, they are building the rockets that will send people to the moon and beyond. We're not talking about little baby rockets here. We're talking about massive, big rockets that are gonna take people really far. And by far, I mean like distant planets and stuff like Mars. Everywhere I go here, there's a rocket scientist, which is cool. So I get to talk to a lot of interesting people. I get to learn some information. It's just really great to have the opportunity to be here at a NASA rocket facility where they build the rockets. I never thought I'd be able to go do something like that. So my goals here, try to tell a photo story if I can. Certain things are off limits. Can't get photos of everything. Can't shoot video of most things. But really going into this facility and seeing what is being created, seeing how they take sections of metal and titanium and put all this stuff together to create what goes into space, the time, the effort, the brain power, the sheer production that goes into this is really incredible. So this is what I'm doing for the next couple days. I hope you enjoy it. So there's two types of rooms that you can get in this hotel. One is a discounted room because it, it doesn't have a window. And then the other one that I got is not discounted because behind me it has a window. Let's, let's check out the view. Boom. Um, something tells me that I got the room with the window that actually doesn't really have a window. So they charged you more for a windowed room even though it doesn't actually look at anything. They call it an inside facing window. I call it bullshit. Oh, hi, Alaya. What's up? Welcome to New Orleans. Why are you here, too? I know, this that's weird. That was, that was what I, oh, probably backlight. That's what I was worried about. I thought I'd be the only one here, by the way. I was hoping to be the only one that I knew, and then it turns out that I know this guy and some other guy with messed up hair named Mike Kelly. Good morning, Mike. Good morning. How'd you sleep? I slept really good. How many hours did you get? Welcome to the New Orleans Fashion Show. Wow. <clears throat> you, know, they call that. you know, the hands-free operation is critical to good one photography. Day one day you will understand and your photographs will improve as a result. Pro I'm tip. Pretty, I'm pretty sure in the South, they call it a fanny pack too. I could, I could turn it around like this. We're here for the photo thing. Okay, you just can't be filming shit. Filming shit? Yeah. I can film, but not shit? All right guys, NASA. First place we get to go to is the amazing room with the amazing leather chairs. Look at these things. Are these NASA inspired or designed? Ooh, let's check it out. Outside of the key row. Oh, yeah. Sometimes I'm surprised. Mike, how's your chair? Pretty comfy. Uh, I'll ask you, does it compare to your Eames chair? I, I gotta give the edge to the Eames chair. Does this, your Eames chair even get, this do you even sit have the rosewood veneer, you know? Rosewood veneer, you're a hipster. Look at this, this is so, this is like beautiful leather. It's NASA leather. It's space leather. We are about to get a tram tour. So don't mind the white balance. This is actually the white balance here. We're about to get into these trams and get a tour of this facility that is 43 acres of air conditioning. So let's try to fill up the front and then my escort folks. Where's the front? <laughs> I wanna be in the front. I've just been told now. I'm not allowed to yeah. film now. Good now. I'm good now. good now. So just punch me whenever. We had several thousands of bicycles here within the factory. And we had the largest repair shop in the southeastern United States. So right now I'm in the model room and what is cool about this is that it shows the entire model of the 43 acres under one roof. 
There's a lot of different companies in here. You've got NASA, of course, you've got some Boeing areas, but this is a scale that it's one one hundredth. So I believe like an eighth of an inch is a foot or something along those lines, but this thing is massive and huge. Just think about that, 43 acres in one under one roof. So we're gonna get a tour of this place. Allowed to shoot some things, not allowed to shoot some other things because you don't want to let some of those secrets and designs out, but this is fascinating stuff. This is the model of the model room where we are standing right now. This is where we get to go to zero G. They're gonna turn this into a vacuum room and then we're gonna float. It's not true, it's not true. I have permission not to cross this line. This guy, he crossed the line. So right here is where they make the domes that go on top of the barrels. It takes five barrels to make a fuel tank. I got it right. They're gonna be massive. They are huge. It's actually extremely fascinating to be here. You guys should look up as much information as you can about these facilities because it's really amazing to see what work goes into making this stuff, the time that it takes, the technology that it takes, and the manpower, the made here. People made this stuff. It's pretty incredible. So Mike Kelly, who's over here, is like, Jared, vlog yourself. And then, and then I was like, no, I'm actually gonna vlog myself. So now we gotta go back to the car, the tram car, watch, watch, watch the tram car, uh, and then get to see more of the facility. Look at that print job on that thing. 160 feet up. Warning, if you're afraid of heights, skip past this section. We're 160 feet up, check this out. This is what it looks like. That is super high up. And this is the emergency exit. Holy shit, we gotta look down the emergency exit. How's it look? You're all gonna die. <laughs> I'm here on a stage at NASA giving a speech about Space Force 107. It's gonna be uh, taking volunteers, so comments down below. Are you volunteering for Space Force, NASA? It's, it's, it's right here, look. I'm on a stage. There's a NASA logo behind me. I'm the next to go into space. Uh, the bathroom actually is the space I'm going into, but okay, I gotta go do that. Look, they even have NASA symbols on the soap. This is special soap. This is NASA soap. Does it, what's it do to my hands? Oh my God, look at that, it's green. Do you know how much engineering went into this soap from NASA? A lot. Oh shit, now I need to wash my hands. Mike, there's, Jared. there's space soap. Are Mike, that's the men's room. Oh wait, that's where you're supposed to go. <laughs> <laughs> so this right behind me is a simulator. It's a test size of the rocket that they test moving so that they know how to move the actual real rocket when it's time to actually move it. It is massive. I don't know what this is. What is this? What is, what is this thing? Why is the camera open? The camera opens, it's not, digi it's not digital. Film, my boys, that's the future. What is the future? Film. Now we're at the most secured and most important part of the NASA facility here. It is the basketball court! Yay, we can play, don't get in her photo. We're in the basketball court of the NASA's, look. 
There's a basket. There's a three-point line that looks really short. And then there's the NASA logo right here. Guys, we're gonna fly around NASA. <laughs> Tracking the Fanny Tack photographer. The Fanny Pack photographer right here. Photographer. Look at him working. He's got everything he needs. And it's on all fogged up. <laughs> Oh, look at that think tank belt right there. Look at that buckle. Oh God, you're so annoying. <laughs> oh, don't kick Mike's lens. Hey, did one of those turn out? You did take four of them. <laughs> Called auto exposure bracketing. Important question here for you. How many solar panels around a basketball court does it take to actually light a basketball court at NASA? The answer, is count them. This is actually where Space Jam was filmed. You ready? Can I get in there on that? Guys, this is a NASA space trash can. Look at that movement. Do you know how many years it took to get this movement right? Two. Two years. Look at that space trash can. Guys, do you know where astronauts get their money before they go into space here at NASA? Right here. This is a space ATM. It's where you get your space bucks. You can buy all your space stuff in the merch store, like the Spaceballs flamethrower. Do you know where they get food in space? The space vending machine. And those are space peanuts. Space peanut M&Ms. I'm wearing my NASA approved space glasses. Look at the shape and form of these glasses. They are very protective from the top, not so much from the bottom, more from the side and the side. Space glasses. <laughs> Don't do that, I'm gonna get in trouble now on the internet. People are gonna be like, who's that? Ooh, fro. Oh my God, thanks. How, how tall are we, 170 feet? We just traversed to the highest parts of this facility and man, is it perilous. I think we're walking on things from like the 1950s, like grates that bounce when you walk on them and there's holes in certain places. It's pretty interesting exploring this up here. Um, we're all the way up top. Seeing everything from up here is insane. You don't get the scale until you take a couple of pictures or look out over the edge, but it's uh, interesting walking through the dark, crawling through these different holes, well, openings that are doors, until you finally get to the top and the center portions. Oh my God, it's hot up here too. So I don't even know how high we are, but this is, is pretty cool. Guys, you'll never believe who I ran into. It's my biggest fan at NASA. I'm funny. I'm really funny. So 
so we're pretty much wrapping up the day. I'm at the top of the facility here at Misho. Now, behind me is where I was inside that vertical welder earlier getting photos of technicians fixing the welder. Uh, it was really cool to get inside the actual machine to photograph people because a lot of the things that we're photographing here are inanimate objects, big tanks, uh, equipment, and not so much the people. So I was able to separate myself from the pack and go get photos of people actually working. And, and those environmental portraits add to the story. So not only do I have the environmental portraits, I've got the wide angle shots behind me showcasing from floor to ceiling how massive this vertical welder is. I have details from inside there and I got some other portraits of people working. So throughout the facility, there's a lot of things to get photos of. You have some machines that have been here since the 50s and 60s and in the machine shop area, I just wanted to get and tell the story of those machines, those wide shots, 35 millimeter, just showcasing the full machine in its industrial glory and just wanted to share that with everybody because the machines are very important. So the well-rounded story that I was going for is the people, the machines. Unfortunately, we don't get to see the final product, the actual full-on rockets, but seeing some of the spacecraft that they've made, the Orion, which is the, the capsule that the astronauts will be in when they go into space and when they splash down into the ocean, being able to see that these are the actual things that are going to go into space. The billions of dollars that are being invested into this stuff, the manpower, the people, the Team America, yeah, that type of stuff. I just love coming out here and being able to create this stuff, so I'm really appreciative of NASA for giving me this opportunity to come here and capture these images, and I hope you guys really enjoyed this photo story and the photos I was able to capture. So, I'm gonna leave it at that. I hope you like this, and that's it, guys. Thank you for watching Jared Polinfronosphoto.com. See ya.